I got a question for y'all. There was one thing that you could buy that you yourself could make always be a dollar. So it's a dollar for everybody. What is that one item you would pick? What's going on? You tuned in to the All Points Podcast with the Freshest Crew. I go by the name of A2. This is Tim the Chapman. Charles from the Great. Midwest. And Kyle in the Cool Corner. Hey, we survived again. Mm-hmm. That's right. We had some tornadoes that came yeah. in. No, we got cooked by some more tornadoes. Well, they they came in, but they went around us. They went yeah, around. Yeah, our neighbor in state, they got yeah. they got jumped. Yeah, they all did. By multiple phone <laughs> clubs. They went around the around the rim of Wichita. Mm-hmm. They didn't actually go in. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got teased about some tornadoes the past couple of days. Hey, but you know what? The past that, couple of weeks, they hit that, the taint of the town. They did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's a good thing because then we all still here. So, you know. Well, I mean, you know, thoughts and prayers go out to anybody affected by the thorns. I mean, yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. Because, you know, what's going to happen is they're going to need to rebuild and all that. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to rebuild, you're going to need a lot of energy. And this episode is sponsored by W Energy. <laughs> yes. You can go to All Points W Energy and use the code All Points. Uh, it's actually W.GG. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, my bad. W.GG. W good game. Oh, and use the promo code All Points. <laughs> Save 10% on your next order. So if you're, <laughs> if you're rebuilding your. You're, it, oh, you know, I'm going to make it sound cool. Oh, yeah? If you're rebuilding your second house because you're so rich and you run out of energy, <laughs> go ahead and get some W energy. Yeah. yeah. So, if you. <laughs> that guy who, who lost his house is well off. Yeah. In my scenario. I, I was, I was going to say, it's like, if you want your house rebuilt by your hubby, <laughs> get you some W. <laughs> That, or that, if that bitch took the wife and or took the kids and the dogs, then you take some W and you take all the copper out the wall, strip that bitch <laughs> down. Wait, you wait. got this, fam. Wait, I was. Just, yeah. Are we still sponsored? Is that still a plug or not? <laughs> yeah, I was just sitting there. We was all sitting there with my family, mm-hmm. and it was like, I think my brother was like, Saying "What you gonna grab?" Things. And I was just looking around. I was like, "Man, I don't care about nothing." All I want is my hard drives. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's funny, because I was thinking about that, too. I was just like, all right, I'm getting the PC. Wait, you guys talking about in the event of a tornado? A tornado? Yeah, an yeah, event of a tornado. Because yeah, yeah. he was looking at my PS5 mm-hmm. and the TV, like, you ain't going to grab that? I'm like, no, nah, dude, I got home insurance. I'm yeah. well, Whatever. Yeah. Renter's insurance, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, just need, I just need that. And then I got a... Um, little lock box with like all my shit but other than that i'm good those two well what about you Kyle? because you got so much you know miscellaneous I, I items got, you can't grab it all yeah, i also got home insurance too but i would grab my computers so i could still be able to work as in like djing and stuff but like uh, yeah everything else is uh replaceable yep i mean besides my kid obviously but, <laughs> man. see now nah, i told germ if i die in the tornado Leak my browser history. <laughs> Don't hide that shit. I want them to know what kind of weird shit I was fapping to. Wait, you a long. freaky ass nigga. You a sixty nine yeah. guy. <laughs> hey, why well, this nigga searching how many types of mustard there are in the world? <laughs> Listen, if you get the the stone mustard, it's got a little more grit to it. You see yeah. him trying to get some manufactured shipping labels for Doja pickles. <laughs> 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 On the way, they're on the way. <laughs> what would Stuck you the grab? printer. What would you grab, Jonathan, in the case of a tornado? Uh, my gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know if the zombies gonna come out of that tornado. Right. So. You gonna need it, a right? zombie tornado you movie. Know. You never know how many armored cars might be knocked over or whatever. Man, people are gonna be trying to go after that, and I'm like, mm-hmm. click clack, mm-hmm. boom, Push boom, boom, back. boom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean that makes sense. And, and, and you can use your, your gun to dig your way out of rubble. Mm. What? Shoot, shoot through the rubble. That That's how it works. <laughs> yeah, you just shoot through the rubble. Yeah. <laughs> you can just pop one up. Well, like, what is a computer going to do when you're in rubble? Hmm? What is a computer going to do? Dig my way out. <laughs> I got I got, I got dig up. <laughs> I just got to dig up. Excellent. <laughs> Stupid. No, it's all about keeping work, you know? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if I if I can't if, if I lose my, my DJ computer in, in the in the tornado, I can't work no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. If I don't lose and my gun, <laughs> just go rob somebody. <laughs> <laughs> or you get off yourself. I mean, that you know, man, things get too tough. 
I lost everything. It's too bad. My uh, coworker, he was looking nervous and whatnot because he was just like, he lives in an apartment complex. Yeah. But he got the top floor. Uh, so he was just like, yeah, they just tell me if a tornado hits, I got to hide in the bathroom in the tub. Yeah. <laughs> on the third floor? On the or third second? floor. Goes, That's stupid. Like, nah, you got to like... Yeah. You better go knock on the neighbor's door. I didn't you see Indiana shit. Jones, you hide in the refrigerator. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was just like, dude, just just come to the house. It, it, once it gets, once we get out of the uh, warning, then I'll take mm-hmm. you back home. Oh, and you, then we didn't get nothing. Did he come over? Yeah, he, he could get over for a little bit. It's a nice place. Yeah, he's right there right now, huh? Manifest destiny. He's gonna like take the shit. So. He ain't left. Yep. <laughs> this where all the pins win. <laughs> see, I'm uh, I'm grabbing all my ten <laughs> millimeter <laughs> sockets. <laughs> In the event of a tornado mm-hmm. there, because mm-hmm. I'm gonna need them for the rebuild, and I guarantee they'll be the only ones missing. Yeah, that is weird <laughs> how that bad. always happens. Always. Always. I told my buddy he needs to start a business just 3D printing them bitches. It's like <laughs> you may only be able to use them one time, but at least you got backups. Yeah. 10 true, true, millimeter true. sockets. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's crazy. Um, for those that don't know that we're in Wichita, Kansas, uh, it fucking sucks here. Uh, dogs. Please, dogs. Please come save us. Uh, we were at work when they first started talking about, like, oh, there's going to be a tornado. So they let second shift go early. Uh, third shift didn't even come in. Well, some of them came in because they're losers. <laughs> um, I need money. Yeah, I was just like, you have the day off. Like, why wouldn't you come in? They came in with the cigarette in the mouth. Tornado ain't never stopped me. Man, right. Fucking stupid, man. <laughs> fucking die hard. <laughs> But I was always like, without kids, if I worked, if I was there, then I would definitely still go to work. Mm-hmm. Like, well, not I, w- I wouldn't go to work because I want to be at work, but I would go to work because it's a pretty strong building. No, like they got yeah. tunnels and shit. I, I get exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Yep, because I was thinking the same thing in my job. I was like, if it's a tornado hit, I'm in like a pretty strong structure. Mm-hmm. We're I'm fine. We're literally in like one of the designated tornado shelters because mm-hmm. we still going to be working while that shit's going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, that's nah. why we never tripped when we used to work at the other job because we knew the mall had a yeah. nice yeah. tornado shelter. Yeah, we were yeah. just chilling, you mm-hmm. know, play some music, T.I. Yeah. That uh, no matter what, <laughs> still <laughs> lost in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, got an anthem for every situation. All right, so we'll, we'll paint the picture. So in our store, in the little pretzel shop, whatever the fuck, uh, you know, it had like a there's in, in, in a way to get to it. They had a little back doors so you could go through little back halls, service yeah. tunnels, and all that shit. Concrete and, uh, slabs. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so. That's where uh, it was like the tornado shelter. So anybody that was in the mall at the time when, you know, shit got real, then you would go back there. And so we had a little peephole that was leading (laughs) out into that hallway. (laughs) So whenever uh, something would go down, we would definitely be in the back of the store just blasting music. (laughs) It didn't fucking matter at that point. We'd just be peeking out or we'd just open the door and be like, damn, it's hot out here. (laughs) We have like a cup of water. (laughs) We we did do that. And and I'm looking back at it now. I'm like, man, it could have been someone pregnant, like dry heaving and just like... But See? yeah, I, I do remember opening up the door and be like, "Everybody good back here?" Yeah. And then closing it right. Yeah, asshole. We were, we were, yeah. Scumbags. Hey, scumbag season seven. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah. Like, Everybody safe. Nothing happened. Thank God. Right. And now you're trying to hide in the library. You like, I got entertainment. I got a 3D printer so I can make what I need and I can watch the bums get flung around outside. Jeez, oh, no, kind of. We, we ain't got public Wi-Fi, but I won't get into that. Wait, <laughs> now you should get into that. Uh, well, if anybody in, in the Wichita area knows, the city of Wichita has has a cyber threat and um, our systems are down. I won't go Damn. into details because I know more and I'm not legally supposed to go into details. But uh, uh, Charlie, you got that gun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say who did it. The rush. No, no. <laughs> Girl, I, I, I oh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm calling the mole in Drake's camp. He <laughs> might have the information. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, our systems are down, so we're literally sitting in our offices just you know, twirling our thumbs. Man, that's rough. Why couldn't they hit a uh, Bombardier? <laughs> just just oh, them up. Huh? Don't worry. You guys are next. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, then, and then they're going after your job because you guys have got the airplane secrets. I mean, yeah. you know, if they do it, cool. Um, I'll just stay home. Mm-hmm. You know, be sitting in my drawers on like a meeting like, oh yeah, we can't get on teams. <laughs> I mean, it's an easy day for everybody else with the IT. They're working around the clock. Mm-hmm. Cause, yeah, it's won't be me. Down. It's crazy, man. Leave it up to the computer nerds to save the day. Yeah. I mean, as always. All these people with easy ass jobs and everything. I you just know. got an easy ass job. <laughs> the pay is good and the work, it ain't hard. I guess. No. I was laughing because um, earlier, you know, you know, 
you know. I know. I saw this news report or whatever where they're talking about this football guy with an easy ass job. All you got to do is play a fucking game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, dicking his career off because he wanted to go street racing in Dallas. Boy. Um, yeah, man. This dude, Rasheed Rice, he's fucking up. Like, he was yeah. in. I don't know if it was the same time that he was in Dallas or if he went back for seconds. <laughs> There's another <laughs> happened this incident. So, yeah, it was, it's yeah. A, yeah. Oh, I didn't even hear no about it. Dude went back. It was a nightclub and he ended up getting into it with a photographer and shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, should have never you gave you career? niggas money. I mean, hey, young the photographers, they be on it. No. He embarrassed. Everybody is cool to the cameras come out. That's why I'm saying that's why people get blasted now when the phones come out <laughs> so and start what? recording you getting your ass whooped. So was it more like a, like a paparazzi type thing like the first car incident happened he's out at the club and somebody is like snapping pictures and he didn't want the shit I wasn't there so I don't know I would assume something nigga. like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, if you want the detail, what's that thing where you, I, you try to read the article? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got, <laughs> got to subscribe to whatever. It's it <laughs> oh, so like Drake said, you know, I might like Kim to it just to skim through it. There you go. I mean, sure. I don't know why you're quoting those weak ass bars from those weak ass <laughs> songs, but whatever. I mean. He's a Drake fan. It's all good. Nah, we don't. Yeah. He said it. Well, he said it. Yeah. I mean. Just, I propose something, okay? What's that? Mm-hmm. I think from from this episode on, it's the last time we talk about this whole because it's just been a uh, every episode since like that. Drop, no, because so. I listened to the last episode. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, this is gonna go into the summer. We're gonna keep going with this. Oh, yeah. so. We getting out the hood with this." <laughs> nah. I mean, we could have if you know uh, uh, Drake's people and XO people wasn't shooting it out. <laughs> right. You know, it's definitely over now. Mm-hmm. They took all the fun out of it because niggas want to be niggas. Nigga hey, moments, I man. I told y'all we were that close. So the that blickies close, coming man. and the sure. blickies came. Now we know how the weekend got his Super Bowl spot. That nigga a thug. <laughs> of course. That. Still had the best performance though. That he had the oh, okay. Lost yeah. in his own uh, setup. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah. so we, I feel like we, he really didn't know where he was he going. Did. He did. He was lucky he made it out just in time. <laughs> So should we give him an update on nah. the, the beef? Or nah. it's, already it's already over. over. It's already over. It's already been talked to death by everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, if people would subscribe more to the All Points, whatever, whatever, and, you know, go pick up some W Energy, then, uh, you know, we'd have the resources and the equipment. Oh, we're so poor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to buy things that could, you know, get us streaming in here on when the day things drop. Yeah. You know? You know, we could be like yeah. on the level of some some other guys. Yeah, that's the reason. You know, yeah. but yeah, that's that's it the, is reason. the reason. Yeah, you know, and you know, we ain't got time to be like always in studio. Now, if people were subscribing, well, maybe we might be in here for three days or four mm-hmm. days a week. You never yeah, know. Don't mm-hmm. don't uh, hold your breath. Hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's what we're talking. Remember, remember we used to say in like the earlier seasons, we all yeah. trying to quit our day job. We yeah. was also five years younger. And. You're as young you know, as you feel. You know how old you know how old uh, uh, Joe Button is, and he's the pod father. Joe Button, <laughs> <laughs> the pod, pod father. <laughs> Don't let him lie to you, man. Speaking of Joe Button, it was pretty funny though, because I mean I listen to both him and Roy and Maul. Uh-huh. And uh, if I mean some of you aren't familiar, but you know on the other show Roy and Maul, um, there's been a narrative that's been going on for like ever, and the guy Maul is pretty much. Uh, Drake um, ball glazer pretty much <laughs> and like they've been on vacation for a minute so they haven't really been around to like cover this whole beef shit that's been going on mm-hmm. they Watch finally 24. got an episode back like they finally came back I think it was like the other day and um, I've been seeing the clips and it's been trending online and it's just like OVO mall and you see dude just having a breakdown and shit he's like no like Drake fucking cooked him like he wasn't <laughs> saying shit like Kendrick don't Kendrick wasn't saying shit yada 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 I was just like, man, like he's, he's going out bad yeah. <laughs> I was like, man. I was like, I usually fuck with Maul, like, but he just he sound dumb as shit. I was talking about like, and everybody's always talking about how like, actually no, no, never mind, never mind. We already talked about it. This is it. Moving on. Well, no, nah, I mean you can say it like the the ride or hard. No, because then we're just gonna start getting into it. All right, well, we got we got one last little piece to talk about. Is we, we got go five minutes. I'll start the timer. <laughs> Well, it was just the simple part where he was talking about how are you going to talk about like, oh, we gave you the information and then go back and then say yeah. whoever gave you the information is it's a fucking clown goofy, or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. all right, so your last, the heart part six or whatever the fuck this is just kind of like, yeah. The beat was nice, though. I like that. Yeah, it was, it was really nice. I want that beat. All I know is the people that are defending 
him off of that like oh he's a genius he manipulated things i want you the next time somebody wants to smoke with you for you to leak that you are a pdf file <laughs> to them and you tell me how that works out for you and tell me if you feel big brain or not yeah i mean like they said to sum it up it's just allegations from both sides but neither camp can prove I mean, or disprove but, these allegations but to put that out there about yourself though like why would you even speak it into existence speak what into existence that you a pdf file he never really put that out there as like a fake like a but like the daughter thing that's the thing i didn't understand why 11 years old specifically who knows, who knows? um to that where uh he's talking about kendrick possibly beating his wife or whatever um her brother is online also like he's even on twitter and he's like commenting or not commenting but he's pretty much talking about or he linked the whole um not like us thing and he's like you know fuck him up huh? he's like fuck him up yeah fuck yeah. him up bro so yeah. it's like yeah. if you, somebody was beating your sister like would you really be supporting them so depends what kind uh, of relationship they had yeah i was gonna say that too right depends, depends what kind of relationship they had mm. and plus everybody I'm don't know sure. what goes on in people's really, funny. just because you like related that don't mean it gives you all access pass <laughs> of what happens behind closed I'm doors true. i'm gonna say what i said on a saturday you know, I was just like, it don't, at this point, it don't matter because like, yeah, Kendrick could have been like a, a woman beater and yeah, you know, Drake could have been a PDF file. The fact of the matter is that these beefs ain't really won like that. You ain't like, mm-hmm. you ain't winning it off of just the facts alone. You yeah. win it off of like mm-hmm. crowd perception and you win it off of like how memorable these moments are. And there's like I'll, two memorable moments, like the They Not Like Us, and then him dropping the grams like right after Family Business came out. I look at it Matters. like this, this is my pers- perspective. <laughs> it's like, if I'm in Drake's shoes and I see Kendrick, there's like nothing, there's like nothing that I would want to hate on Kendrick about as far as his life. Like, mm-hmm. there's nothing I'm envy of. But from Kendrick's perspective and everybody else, I can look at Drake and find a million things of why I hate this dude or I'm envious just because I'm not going to go down the list. The way he walks, the way he talks. <laughs> I'm not going to go down the list. And I forgot, I had another point. But my bad. My, <laughs> my, mind just, my mind just went blank. But it's like, uh, I feel like Drake has been putting subliminals throughout his music, but I feel like Kendrick started this whole beef, even if you go back. But everybody's getting mad at Drake when... All he's doing is defending himself. I don't, I don't think so he's if, you, just, if you've been taking shots at me from like 10 years ago and shit, and then, you know, I just do a song with J. Cole and I'm just being braggadocious like I always do. But J. Cole's like firing, you know, he got you in the scope, but you just come back and attack me. And then it's like, all right, I've been listening to this dude talk shit and disappear, talk shit and disappear. Now I'm going to actually defend myself. But when I defend myself, everybody's all like, all right, this is weak. You ain't this. You ain't that. Whoop de woo. Kendrick won. I just, I just think that's. I mean, like when he talk about like, you know, Kendrick starting it. I don't think that's exactly true because there was like, um, it was like after the control verse, Drake was just like, you know, I mean, it's whatever. He's, he's like the only person that really took it personally. And then I remember hearing something about like there was an interview that like he did, and he was just like talking crazy. He's like, and then memorable. they, they, they were like, if you, if you uh, air that interview. We're not coming up there anymore. So then they pulled it. But he put him on, like I said, he already said he put him on his first tour with him. Mm-hmm. And then obviously you got Kendrick was a fan. Mm-hmm. You, like you go back, he was singing along to Controller in his car and he had interviews and he's in the backseat riding the car. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, Drake is so good. You got to respect him. And yeah, like, yeah. Really, you know, so it's just like there was like an appreciation to a certain point. But right. I don't know. It's kind of like when you're getting forced fed the same person in your face mm-hmm. and he's like oh i'm i'm actually better than this nigga i don't see mm-hmm. why he gets all this attention why is he getting all these number ones why is he getting all these features i can see like a little envy envious side of that mm-hmm. that makes so much sense though why I mean, Katie murphy be hating bitch ass <laughs> <laughs> regardless of the different diss tracks at the end of the day the thing that's been stuck in my head is fucking bbl drizzy and i, Man, love I, don't, to and I don't get that i was like that rick rick ross started bbl drizzy but i'm like why wouldn't you start like tummy tuck drizzy because the whole thing is he got his stomach done to get his abs but it's like Y'all talking about him. Manda made his ass bigger. He got thicker. Like it's five kinda, minutes, next kind of done. It's kind of kind of sus to me. I, I was just saying on this. It's like if he did get it, then yeah, that's something to be talked about. That's something to be made fun of. Yeah. But 
on another note, I got nothing. Anybody else? Gets- um, <laughs> you got nothing? Or, or, nah. Uh, yeah, okay. I got a question for y'all. Uh, if there was one It's not one of those questions <laughs> right. I always PG. feel like it's like a lose-lose question yeah. No, for real It's a, If there was one thing that you could buy That you yourself could make Always be a dollar So it's a dollar for everybody What is that one item you would pick? Uh, a dollar for everybody? It's, it's for everybody? A mm-hmm. Always a dollar It's like Arizona tea It never goes up <laughs> Damn um, Rent Damn, that's a good answer Mm-hmm you know, praise me forever. <laughs> Worship didn't, me. Didn't everybody just be living everywhere? We wouldn't have homeless people. You say like, <laughs> what the fuck? bad thing. Yeah, you he really he, do hate the yeah, homeless. Yeah, he needs people to clean up the street. But that he still would, that would still would cause like a a civil war because <laughs> see, okay, somebody living in a shack paying a dollar for rent versus somebody in like a, a massive mansion paying a dollar for rent. Living in so a shack, on whether it's, it is owned or if it's rented. So it's gonna be like the purge. Like, we gonna come and run you up out of this mess. So like if it's a three bedroom and a two bedroom, it's still one dollar. It's all the same. Yeah, so I was why, would say, even, why would I even pick a, a two bedroom? I'm picking because that's all you got. Your bro. No, I just want. Live in a three bedroom by myself. Look, look, look. It's a fucking dollar. And then right? the family of five like, who actually the needs <laughs> the family of five who actually needs a three bedroom. They can't get in a three bedroom. That's not the point. That is not the point. Mm. It's, but it's the same can... for everybody. So if somebody got a dollar, they good. Yeah. I mean, it's like, hey, let me buy you out. I'm gonna give you a dollar. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> man, that's you, a good deal. <laughs> I'll give you two dollars to live there. I don't know, but it always has to cost a dollar. Mm. Yeah, it, it's a Inflation. dollar to, 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 I'm sorry, to sir, legally, or whatever. Legally. But let's say like, all right, you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna get this apartment. Whatever I only need it for You know six months Okay Alright well it's a dollar mm-hmm. And then you're like Alright well then Once I'm done with this Two bedroom apartment Or whatever the fuck Then now this family That needs the space Or whatever can go in there well, What so, if I'm like a, a notorious drug dealer And I just want to sell Crack in the good neighborhood So I get the good Luxury apartments For a dollar And start selling what, crack Out that, that neighborhood mean? Like you're still now in the it's neighborhood It's still illegal it's like, To yeah, sell yeah, crack like, now. Now The neighborhood is going not, down like Police are going to be like no. Oh well She pays If rent. anything no. That's going to get you Called on more Because the HOA Going to be watching yeah. your ass <laughs> Nah, because now you're ruining our neighborhoods because now anybody can just go in our All neighborhood. All right, well, then what the okay. fuck do you want for a dollar then? I, I'm going I'm to say mine. I'm going to just say like uh, like air travel, like plane tickets. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. That, yeah, that way, yeah, if you want, if there's somebody you want to get to nah. and they, <laughs> they ain't talking 13 shit hours online. away, you know, he that dollar's going to take you. Flying. Everybody going to take you across said, the world. Think about all the pollution now. Everyone's just flying. Mm-hmm. Planes are overbooked. Okay, negative who, Nancy. The niggas who who would just ride a bus is gonna get on the plane because it's, <laughs> because it's cooler. <laughs> Oh, you just go up the street and hop in my airplane. I mean, that would make it easy for me to get to work. So, like, <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine when Taylor Swift does it. But no, no I'm not saying it is. It. I'm yeah. not saying it is. Her jet's too big too. Yeah, all right. She don't need that big of a. But jet. just think, she, if you have like tiny. some festival or you want to go to WrestleMania, yeah. it's only gonna cost you a dollar to get I'm there. I'm also gonna be sitting there next to Jimmy Bob who. <laughs> Jim Bob. pigs because he can afford Damn. to fly. He why don't you, like poor people, hey, man. Why are you yucking his yum? Let him <laughs> fuck the pork. Let him pork the pork. <laughs> I mean, the, it ain't like the pig is on the plane, which I found out, by the way, pigs apparently have a foot and a half long penis, side note. But um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, there were a corkscrew, I, I, now I guess, he on the... I guess we're at the same club. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine Ugh. you eat some bacon and your girl like that pig got a... That this bacon came from had a bigger dick than you. Enjoy. Why? Why well, I think there's never a pork shortage? Well, they both gotta go. It's gonna be a pork longage. <laughs> a longage. <laughs> Why there's so much bacon and fat back? <laughs> this podcast is diabolical. <laughs> Scumbag season. All right, dollar. Who else? Who else? Well, I had to think about this a little bit, but um, we bought enough time. I think um, <laughs> if it was a dollar, I would get Galaxy Grenade Energy Tub from W Energy. Oh my God. <laughs> w Energy, you can get that. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer. Master. Can, can you still use our promo code to save ten percent off of that you one dollar? You sure can. Oh, you'll get it for ninety cents. <laughs> you'll be wired when you're rebuilding your house. <laughs> No, serious answer. Seriously? All right, fine. Uh, Serious answer. I mean, see. Damn, because I was thinking before, I was like, well, something like blueberries. And the only reason I say that is because, you know, you can eat blueberries and also get water and whatnot. You just eat them all at once, right? So you're taking care of your nourishment all at once, right? But I was like, nah, that's a bad bad one. So, uh. You said blueberries. (laughs) 
Oh, that, that was the first thing that popped in my head. But I was thinking, of course, something like food, right? Mm-hmm. But it has to be a specific item, so I, I come back. Come back. I, I want yours first. Yeah, let's hear the haters Yeah, so first. we can just tear really your shit down. Let's hear his revolutionary idea because he's tearing everybody down. I don't really have one. I, I think say, chicken I was, should be a dog. <laughs> I was going to say gasoline. When you talking about pollution, right? Get the fuck out of here. You don't even use gasoline. You use batteries. And if, it, if it was a dollar, you know, you know how fast we gonna run out. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I, that's, that's why I didn't want to say gasoline because then we'll start drilling for more oil. Yeah, yeah. you know what? We're gonna ruin the world. I would make Teslas worth a dollar. <laughs> then I would ruin that company. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Medications. 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 Like, Medications. I said milk previously because I'm like. Yeah, I remember when I had answer. a baby transitioning to milk, and milk was almost five dollars a gallon. I had to buy four Ooh. of them bitches a week, yeah. and that was terrible. Mm-hmm. But medication. No, yeah. but then that's gonna in- increase the the drug population out there. And you're mm-hmm. gonna have guys like Drake buying up all the exactly. Think about Listen, all or, the fentanyl can get. Or guys no, like NBA Young Boy like, back there. <laughs> what did he do? Oh, we'll I actually that, take those Olympics, so it's like once I lose my weight. I'm it's about to start flipping that shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently hey, that's the new drug drug. Yeah, because I'm a fan. According to that's Cat Williams. Like, put me up. <laughs> I got yeah, y'all. Cool. What is it? It's supposed to like like suppress your hunger or something like that? That and it kind of helps you burn fat a little better. It's just it helps with kind of every single aspect really when it comes to weight loss there like you'll shit your guts out sometimes because it'll be pushing out extra sugar right (laughs) we need to know i already got medications that do that and that on top of it when i first took it i felt sick as a dog and i was on that toilet probably four hours that day that's cool i didn't even know that you look like that way so it's ozempic for all the dogs it's for all the dogs man 100 percent i i change i'll probably do wi-fi yeah, yeah to think about all the people pulling no. the, the people to get. No, we don't not, have in, not in Kansas. Wi-Fi. No, I think, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think we Texas. deserve. I think we deserve universal free Wi-Fi for everyone. That shit would be so slow. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. I mean, it had to be good Wi-Fi. Think about like, all the gym for, bobs that are just sitting on the corners <laughs> and they can just man. get on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> you I saw what happened in South Park when the Wi-Fi went out. You seen you seen homeless people with cell phones. Yeah. They go with the homeless rent. <laughs> Everyone's connected, so mm-hmm. I think Wi Fi would be a good one. You know, I'm I, still waiting on the day when a homeless person tells me they accept Cash App and Venmo, and they're just <laughs> like, "Take your ass somewhere else." <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. You know, you could just sit on the corner with like a uh, like a QR code and be like, "Need food? Fuck it, I'm just lazy. I don't want to work." And I right. bet you people would donate. Oh, absolutely. I probably think it give you money just because they think it's funny. Yeah, why exactly. Haven't they, why haven't they just stand out there with a cash app, you know, QR code? I mean, it's like, okay, so you spent enough money to like get this sign made. Did you draw in your QR code or something like that? Like, some people, yeah. I, no, I went to the public library. I printed off my cash app <laughs> name, and then I put it on this cardboard box. And now people, I think, I think they'll get more money that way because maybe. people, people are it. sitting there. And uh, scan at a red yeah. light it, yeah, it's a lot quicker. Let's we, do that this summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can do it. Let's do it. Panhandle with QR code. Yeah, why not? I mean, but we got to set it up right though. I wouldn't yeah. even panhandle with it. I'll just put it like you know on a, like a necklace type thing. Just walk <laughs> like around. Like a big ass it. flavor flave <laughs> chain. <laughs> Let's do it in Austin. Flame. Get at me. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. Let's wake up early before DreamCon. Yeah. <laughs> go on out there and do it, and then we'll tell everybody how much money we made that Yo, day. Man, that would be good. Like we're buying everybody shots on 6th Street tonight. <laughs> Give back to the community. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> there was 13 wrecks coming back from 6th Street. You know, week. we should do that. You'd be like, you know, all right, just uh, donate for uh, for free drinks and whatnot. And then just give everybody water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't say. Right. Speaking of 6th Street, like, where where is that located at? That's going to be in Austin, Austin. Texas. Oh. I mean, there's six streets everywhere. Yeah, that's true. True. We're there's the one that we're talking about is in Austin, Texas. And and why would that be significant though? Um, well, in July, <laughs> it's like there's so DreamCon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cosplaying as the nigga with the chair from the Montgomery Brawl. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as your daddy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna cosplay as your dad. <laughs> Damn. Well, he's already in Texas. So. Right. <laughs> be careful. That's right. All points podcast. We're gonna be at DreamCon. We got another panel. They they let us back in. They let us back in the dope. Oh no, no, man. I don't know why. And uh, it's gonna be the last one. Check us out. You said that last this time. year yeah. at DreamCon. If you got tickets, let us know in the comments below that you're gonna be there. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll see you at the con. 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 <laughs>
Our portion sponsored by W. Energy. Yeah, man. I was thinking about that though because uh, I was hoping this beef was gonna go on a little longer, mm-hmm. like at least until June, because I wanted to like have a whole panel or not a whole panel, but a segment in the panel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just because you know them niggas like to argue with us. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to just. Though. Uh-huh. They'd be wrong though. I mean, they they usually are because yeah. you know they ain't got a podcast. So yeah. they can't. Cause they argue with emotion. They don't argue with facts. There you go. Facts. There you go. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to do is like, all right, who got Kate? Uh, who got Drake? But um, I got put Drake. Them on Why not? Sides. Mm-hmm. Let's separate. Them. I, I got Drake. Yeah. yeah. We should just tell the room organizer. Organizer. <laughs> you can you know, we, we can we divide the room up? <laughs> yeah. Let's do. There's light skins on this side. And <laughs> <laughs> there are plenty of light skins that don't like the light skin. Yeah, right. they That's hate right. their own kind. Hey, hey, hey. He's Canadian. He's Uncle not my Rockies. own kind. Yeah. We hate hey, foreigners. Really. That's what yeah. it is. But you guys are October's very own. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, right. he's done enough black features now. He's black enough, yeah. man. Yeah. So he, did, yeah, he really dissed all the October babies. Did he? Yeah, because he said, "What does OVO really stand for?" They called y'all OVO options. Yeah. So you're an OVO. I'm not an OVO. You're OV ho. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad that was fucking t- trending. <laughs> it was, man. Yeah. But I will say they was um DreamCon made a post about uh they want they're looking for contestants to participate in their family feud at this year's uh, event. Ah oh, shit, but it's gonna be about anime and shit though. I don't I know. Guarantee I guarantee you. Get my ass kicked. Act a fool. <laughs> I did put our name in it, and um the author of the post liked it. So ah shit, you know, man, it ain't got nothing to do with basketball. Mm-hmm. I, I I I hope we do get chosen, and I hope it is all about anime, and I hope we just act a fool and just lose, and everyone's just fooling us. <laughs> let's let's, uh, let's, let's make like, every. I'm only giving facts. <laughs> Actual information, sir. Uh, yeah. We going up there is just nothing but Dragon Ball Z answers. Right. <laughs> That's when my Dragon Ball Z hat comes down. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just spin around on stage like I did in the background. Nah, but I'm looking, I, I am looking forward to it though. Um, Are you? Yeah, I am. <clears throat> I'm looking for the camaraderie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm and I'm on the never-ending hunt to get into upgrading my vehicle before DreamCon. So hopefully, yeah, upgrading your get. vehicle. Yeah, Brandon yeah. Hunt. He says we're in a race right now. Yeah, yeah. you trying to upgrade too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. That's, That's what we doing. Mm-hmm. That's why I ain't riding with y'all. Yeah. That's cool. He's not going in. He gonna fly. <laughs> Goddamn no, right. No, I'm not actually. No, well, no. we'll talk off cam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I saw an embarrassing clip, secondhand embarrassing clip, uh, the other day, and um, yeah, man, it was at a country concert, and then some 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 roach came out on stage. Oh, <laughs> like actual roach? You no, don't got I'm the. Oh. Let me not disrespect her. All right, it was sexy Reg came out. With a, a <laughs> uh-huh. Zach Bryan, I don't know who the fuck he is, but he's close. some country star. I've seen he's the headline, but I didn't read it. Mm-hmm. She came out and she started shaking her ass and everything. What else? And then she started getting into the splits. Was out, which. I mean, admittedly, I was kind of like, didn't she just have a baby? Yeah, yeah. she got thicker. She did. Because yeah. I got asked one of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> who would I hear? Her uh, Glorilla. Glorilla. And people got mad at my answer. You that name still no, Glorilla. Glorilla. Who would you say? You said Sexy Red? You yeah. said old Lazy Red? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I, I, I probably picked the same. Because that Cause one I'm video like, Glorilla. One got a deep oh. voice, at least. Oh. <laughs> one got a deep oh voice, at least, you know. Ratchet, a little thickness. Yeah, what's wrong yeah. with that? She be like, "Hey, baby." Guys, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can only fix so Hit much right in the there. transition. Hit man. that shit. <laughs> so when you when you was watching Sexy Red on the stage with that country singer, mm-hmm. was you intrigued a little bit? I mean, I looked at it and I was like, mm, "All right, okay." But at the same time, I was just like, kind of like, "Eh, that's not that's not your okay." I already know this young thug, by the way. Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> the thing is, I, no, he'd be bigger than that. <laughs> I can say that's not your crowd. Like, I don't understand why you out there, you know, industry playing, shaking your ass and everything. I'm she's from Memphis. Like, the, 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 the she's Mexican from St. Louis, well, Missouri. Yeah, that's the thing. Because when she got out there and she started shaking, then all the people in the crowd was like, ah! I mean, so really? Like, she's universal, y'all. Here? Hey, you know what? That's the you know, country and hip hop is just coming together to merge. That was because she like Beyonce, Rams, everyone else could walk. <laughs> it's like she brings out people's inner hoes. So like the country fans, oh, so like they hear sexy red. Hoes. I say inner hoe. You probably got an inner hoe. <laughs> nah, I don't. Yeah, yeah you, do. you do. Yeah, Kyron, dude. Actually, you know Kyron, dude. Let's go ahead, Just, skip, yeah. let's go ahead and skip this yeah. topic. Nah. Sexy red gonna yeah, give herself a, away. She gonna be up there twerking, and you gonna <laughs> whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> That's what he said. That was it. I, I thought he was right here. <laughs> <laughs> 
but man, now they was just like, oh man, that's so good. Like, you know, cultures are coming together and mm. oh, I love it. And blah, blah, blah. Get it, sis. That split gave me life. I was like, oh, yeah, it better gave you something. <laughs> <laughs> that pink eye. The only thing that would make that better is somebody's in the crowd, like, yeah, <laughs> start shooting. If it was Texas, uh, X I gotta watch this video now. <laughs> yeah, just look up on Twitter, it'll be there. Because, <laughs> I mean, just refreshing on Twitter just non-stop over the last couple days so. oh, man yeah. uh, waiting wait for somebody to drop yeah. did you see that one female artist performing talking about eating eating booty yeah wait and what she was that aggressively Suki? yeah Suki yeah. And she oh was she just a nah, yeah, yeah that bitch is nasty Ugh. I mean that song's been out for how long I don't know I don't know have, 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 have any of you guys have your booty ate since then <laughs> um I plead the fifth. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hey, if you have that, there's more power to you. But just I, like aliens, I, thought, I cannot confirm or deny. I just thought these songs were supposed to empower these women and to do more things. Mm-hmm. I ain't got my booty ate since that song's dropped. Have you played it for her? You said sins, but you didn't say before. I'm pretty right. sure she's heard it. <laughs> you need to you need to start <laughs> dropping hints. I right said he said sins. He didn't say before. Trust <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's never been eight. Uh, oh, never free ass yes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought that that song was supposed to empower women. To to, okay. I ain't even heard the song, so I don't All I know is it's about eating booty. Send it to her. <laughs> Send it to her. She said that I think the lyrics go something along the lines as he was eating my booty and said I wanted to he, they don't use the term booty, obviously. Well, yeah. And then you, know, um, you censor yourself out. Yeah. You know. <laughs> My parents may listen to this. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get grounded. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently, the dude that was eating her booty wanted to try it, so now she was eating his booty, mm-hmm. and he was going back and forth like human centipede. Yeah. So, and <laughs> yeah, and she had the audience singing along too. There was kids in the crowd. <laughs> I mean, that's this, you know, I mean, you're a fan that's of the her music. You know, only in America. Not too much of a stretch that you bring your kids that, into that. Only you know, in America. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the sexy Reds letting out your inner hole. What is Suki letting out? God, you're yeah. a freak. <laughs> I don't know, I man. She's worse, but yeah. I don't know. Nah, but uh, uh, take a link to that and uh, that video or whatever and send it to her. See what I, she says. Might as well. Yeah. No, no. You. I'm pretty sure she's hard to learn, but I'll, I'll send it to her. I mean, it's kind of like giving her like blocked. a little wink, wink. I'll, yeah. I'll let you, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, gotta, update, I'll update you guys. You, you, uh, you gotta send that to her, then send her the little like you know emojis where it's like putting the fingers together mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> trying to let her know you want to get your tongue, your uh, taint tongued. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue. Forget your eyes back here, <laughs> Tell her tongue punch my fart box, baby. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Come oh, on, man. You might God. get it done. All right, I, I'll, I'll update you if it happens. I don't want to. Uh, I just want to see her. No, reaction. no, I'm going to update you. Okay, cool. Whatever. I'm He's gonna send you a picture of it happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be from like his perspective. He's gonna be bent over. <laughs> you just see his head <laughs> to the cheeks. <laughs> We're gonna do the show next time, and the camera won't be here, and you'll know why. <laughs> yep. Guys will definitely know. There's gonna be a brown stain on the record button. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, Yo, you know where there was a brown stain? Where? On some uh, escalators in New York City. Uh, Shit was crazy. Wait. It was this dirty dude with some braids that ain't never been like, you know, really, really, really like solid. I don't know. He put them in once and never took them out. I don't that know. or once they get in, then he just brushes his hair with the braids. <laughs> <laughs> It's this dude that used to be balling and shit. Oh, I seen that video. <laughs> Wait a yeah. minute. He was fighting some old nigga. Yeah. Like Jim they Jones. jumping me. They jumping me. Jim Jones got jumped. Yeah. He fighting some old ball headed man on the escalators. <laughs> and there was brown slammed. stains. What? There was brown stains on the escalator. Well, then he fell down. And it it's just a brown stain because it's Jim Jones. And mm. Jim Jones is. Looked at as dirty. man, that's like a fall from grace. <laughs> like you supposed to be this top notch hip hop superstar you just in your era, me. yeah. Was now he loving hip hop? I don't know. I don't watch that show. <laughs> I don't know who's on it. Nah, but it just started off where it's looking down the escalator and you see dudes are like <laughs> tussling and shit. And then one dude gets tossed down the stairs Damn. and you hear, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Niggas talking all that shit till they, till they get touched up. Yeah. He's like, I bet they will try black men again. <laughs> it, it just makes me wonder. Sit your fucking ass down. Yeah, it's like they jump at me. <laughs> it just makes me wonder like when you do kind of fall off like like how do you get yourself in those predicaments where you're just like getting beat up in public and it's like how do you get I yourself mean, noticed <laughs> get yourself in those predicaments oh where you're getting beat up in public like what did he do 
Like you shouldn't be. I know it was a white man, so it was probably. Oh, mm. It could have been anything at that point. Yeah, it could have been like. It smells like grease around here. <laughs> <laughs> he just, I was he saying, just swung on over. Like, if, if, if Cat Williams can come back from getting beat up by them kid, uh, that kid, mm-hmm. he's fine. He'll be all right. <laughs> See, I don't Cat know Williams how he did that. Up. Yeah, yeah, he did. How was his special? I mean, uh, to me, it was kind of dry on the simple fact that he should be like Dave Chappelle and Kevin Hart at his shows, where like security makes you. You know, they confiscate all the phones and lock them away in mm. a little pouch or something. So people been recording. He's he been on tour, so they've been recording all these jokes and post them on YouTube. So I've seen these jokes, like, Most last guys. year. So yeah, it was just kind of, like, ruined, ruined it for me. And, like, his tone, like, that high-pitched voice, like, mm. it was kind of annoying. And in every sentence, with bitch! Yeah, it, it was just that high, yeah. high-pitched voice the whole time. And then he talks in his regular voice. It gets all deep. And then it's just like... I got a ring in my ear. I now. felt like it was <laughs> welcome. Felt like it was kind of dry. Yeah. I didn't really. I chuckled maybe towards the end. It Man. had its moments, but it. He was doing a lot of shit where he was on some Tosh, uh, some Daniel Tosh shit, and just kept bringing stuff up on the TV. I always like that showing videos, and it's just like, bro, what is this yeah, shit? It's like tacky. Find, yeah, he bring up shit from like, 06, the little blind kid, foot, kid that was playing football. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I Damn. thought it was all right. He had a couple moments that were cool, but. For the most part, it wasn't like it was groundbreaking. I'm, I've definitely seen funnier stand-ups. That was on, that was on Saturday. But if you really wanted to bust a gut on Netflix, you should have watched the Russell Tom, Tom Brady. That's that, like three was, hours, yeah, I man. Didn't, I didn't watch that, but I saw the clips and I was laughing every time. Okay, so. but that's probably like a bunch of other comedians versus yeah. one comedian. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But I'm just saying, Netflix is they yeah. they trying to get up there. Yeah, it's about and, that time. I did. I, I did. Only reason I brought that up, the whole you know, Cat Williams Netflix special thing, is just because um, just the headlines was talking about how like, oh, it's a bad day to be Cat Williams or whatever. After this shit popped off, the mm-hmm. roast of Tom Brady, which was uh, Kevin Hart the host. Yeah, Kevin Hart was the host. Okay, yeah. so they're just kind of comparing them to in this instance. Oh, just and, pitting people against mm-hmm. each other. Mm-hmm. Of course. Granted, I mean they. I are, mean they, they had their yeah. little. Yeah, but I mean that's the only reason that I heard about it. And they're like, oh well, his special bombed and shit, and I was like, eh. All right. Well, there can only be one short, funny little man in Hollywood, and mm-hmm. Kevin Hart stole his whole shtick. <laughs> Did he? I mean, Kevin Hart took the whole little black dude motif from Cat Williams yeah. and just started being like, nah, they ain't gonna pay you. No, nah. they gonna pay me. No, nah. nah. I'm in the movies with The Rock. Kevin Cause... Hart was willing to put on the dress too, so. Yeah, true. Yeah. But yeah, Cat Williams never did none of the slapstick type shit. So, yeah. yeah. yeah so, yep. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess it just proves that um, in a world of comedic short niggas, you guys just aren't that funny. True. Yeah. Speaking of short people, what's up, Alex? I want to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize to you and all short people because I had something br- brought to my attention recently. What's up, Randy Newman? Really don't fucking like short people, bro. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> like I actually man. listened to that song for once, and I'm like, oh my god, he's like, short mm-hmm. people got no, no reason, reason to live. live. Yep. They got little hands, little, little teeth. teeth. Yep. They put little <laughs> shoes on their nasty little feet. And I'm mm-hmm. like, god damn. It was, was vicious. A, that it was, was vicious. Track, yeah. yeah, it was vicious. But he did it in this nice yuppie <laughs> <laughs> right? no And that, that brings, brings me back. Story. And then this man made Toy Story. <laughs> yeah, no, like, right. What the hell? Literally, this song is for short people, children. Yeah, not for real. <laughs> Fuck nah. Randy Newman. No one's ever responded to that <laughs> that diss track. We gonna we gonna take his ankles out. <laughs> yeah, all the short people came up short. <laughs> <laughs> man, uh, the Hell Divers community this oh, last God. week, man. <laughs> that was all nasty. that belly aching. What and happened? Then, so basically, and this is something I want to preface this by saying that when hell divers came out if you were a pc player they told you early on you were eventually going to have to make a sony account to be able to link it to this and play it yeah and so they were like we're gonna start enforcing it and you won't be able to log in and the steam community went fucking ballistic as they should because it's like they're like i gotta make an account to play the game no 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 i hate this <laughs> you know xbox doesn't make me do this ubisoft doesn't make me do this wb doesn't make me do this ea doesn't make me <laughs> they was do it, they went was all it the way the back the fact that they mm-hmm. had to make an account or was it the fact that the countries that didn't have playstation net psn 
it got delisted. See, that was the other part and, of it. I came and, to realize that, that eventually, yeah. but the things that I saw people complaining about initially, it oh, was of not. They're always going to grab of the low hanging fruit. Like for people who are in those countries, I understand it because some countries don't allow PlayStation Network, mm -hmm. and so they just would not be able to play their game. But they were like, yeah. "We'll sell it to you." But yeah, yeah, now exactly. you can't make an account. But you can't play it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's like they shouldn't have even allowed that to happen in the first place. So that's mm -hmm. a ball drop on, you know, Arrowhead for doing that there. Like well, it wasn't really it. Arrowhead either. Or I, Sony. Heard, I heard he went on, the, the, the CEO of Arrowhead, Arrowhead was like, I just want to make games, you know? Right. Yeah. But, you know. But then it got reversed because they bullied they uh, Sony it. into it. There's, they there's a dude Sony. that I watch. Um, he's called uh, Some Ordinary Gamers. Mm -hmm. And his opening line, he was like, and bullying does work. Do yep. it. <laughs> right. I was just yep. like, yeah. But yeah, they, they fucked up when they did that. Because like you see the Steam um, like likes and whatnot, mm -hmm. like the reviews. And it was just like overwhelmingly positive. Mm -hmm. And then that shit happens. And then like in a day, it goes down to like mixed. And it's just, yep. it's they wild. It. And people are like, nah, y'all go in there and remove them fucking dislikes mm -hmm. now. They gave you what you wanted. But, Shut but, up. But PC's the master race, though. Y'all the most toxic race. Uh, uh, we get shit done. Listen. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. All, right. All I'm saying is, at the beginning, I was pissed off, and I actually got very toxic on the internet because of it, because I'm like, y'all motherfuckers already got to do this. You got to create Riot accounts to play fucking League of Legends. Yeah. You do this shit already for other games. Yeah. Why is this a problem now? Because it's Sony. And it's it, a console. Exactly. You're like, they have bad security. They'll steal your card information. I mean, yes. you're being real. Don't, yeah, like, don't leave your card on Steam. Fucking use PayPal or some shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're being real, the hacks on Sony... You know, that's a valid reason to not want to do it. But also in principle, because, like, I don't have PSN anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it ends today. I was like, I'm done. Oh. I'm not paying for it anymore. But uh, if it was if it was like that, like you had to have PSN to be able to play it, that man, would that ass. would be nuclear. That's when I was like, okay, if you got to pay for a PSN account, yeah, that's shady yeah. as fuck. But if it's yeah. just let me take the three minutes it takes to make this account and then I go on like yeah. I do with every other fucking game. Yep, yep. Shut up. Yeah, man. Can't please everybody. Nope. Just Can't wanted to call in a hell bomb on the internet that day. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't played it. What the fuck, Alex? Neither you know why I haven't played it? Because I've been waiting for other motherfuckers to actually get the fucking game. You know, because it's just three of us sitting right here that got the game. Right? Other motherfuckers, you know, <laughs> not y'all. Like, yeah, the ones that matter. Sorry, we're not there. We're not <clears throat> we gonna Listen, play. Okay. We gonna play I this week then. Because y'all, y'all. Oh, first and foremost, y'all played before I did. Okay, y'all hopped on, and didn't tell me nothing, so I don't want to hear that shit. But then number two, huh? I'm level. Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't even play anymore. I'm only 19. <laughs> See, besides, I'd get in there and I'd crush everybody, so it don't matter. No, you won't. But competitive, right? It shows you. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, nah, I'm waiting for uh, Michael and Ken Reed to get it. Oh, damn, those but, old ass niggas are still. <laughs> nah, for real, that. actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, they I do them. though. Yeah. I mean, I do every our, now and then. Our but it's friends like... that we want to upgrade to the PS5 are still playing on PS4s, and we can't play games together. Yep. So let's f them because they acting old right <laughs> now. Set them old ass <laughs> niggas. Fuck you. I mean, what are they playing besides Fortnite? They're playing old Warzone. Call of Duty. And <laughs> yeah. Old, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be like, and it, it's it's infuriating to me because mm -hmm. I've always been telling them. Like, I remember back before they used to even play Grand Theft Auto. I was like, yo, y'all gotta get this game. Like GTA Four was crazy. Like when we used to play this shit online, yeah. like it was fun, man. And then I'm like, all right, well, play GTA, you know, five or whatever. No, I don't like. That. I don't think I'm just yeah. gonna play Gears Three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? It's like, why are y'all so behind on this shit? Mm -hmm. And there was a study where it's talking about like the older you get, it's kind of like your brain is like plastic, it's formed or whatever, it's like rubber, whatever the fuck. Yeah. It's, it's, they use it as an example, and like when it gets older, it cools down or whatever, it heats, it gets harder, so it's harder to mold it and you know try to add new experiences and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So when you get older, then you just stay stuck in your own stupid ass ways. So, you know, I, I always think about that and I think about them because I'm like, y'all are playing games from like fucking ancient times and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, get with it. Like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know either. about all the F's. Just, you say what? They don't know about all the F's they can get. It just, uh, dumb. All the ray tracings they can get. I'm mm -hmm. like, just up there. Oh, I got the money for it. I just don't know what I'm going to do it. I'm like, alright, whatever, man. 
you yeah. don't want to get the PS5, just get a fucking PC. That's what and I'm saying. And if you want to play those old ass games, mod the shit out of them PC's and play them like I am doing right now with New Vegas. PC's that is it, you too? I did the uh, Viva New Vegas mod there. And Wait, so I was like, oh my God, it's so much crisper. Just right Oh, you mean that, that like overall? Yeah. Dude, I, I was shooting shit and I'm like, I don't like this because I can't even tell where the fuck the bullets are going at this point. <laughs> I, my, I don't know if my aim is shit or the game is just old. Yeah. <laughs> the game is old, nigga. Yeah, the game is old. It's old. It's, it's still good. New Vegas is old. Nigga. It's still like, good. Nah, oh, come what? on, man. It's you're, all about you're playing Fortnite too. It's all about Fortnite. Stella Fallout, Blade. Fallout Stella Blade. I'm getting into the series now. <laughs> mm, finally same. jumping into it. Same. Because yeah. I want to watch the TV show. I, that's the exact reason why I started playing Fallout because the TV show and the girl that's the main character, Lucy, is fine as fuck. <clears throat> Bad. Ah, uh, yeah. she's fine. You say what? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, look her up. Look up Fallout. Oh, the TV show. Look up Ella Perel. I look what? up Ella Perel. Man, I look up the Rule Thirty Four. Yeah, she, she's fun as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason that I started playing. Oh, I'm mad at I that. Was like, ah, man. But man, it, it, it's crazy. You know that it, it's a good TV show. Um, if you ain't watching it, you should be. Cause you know, and you don't have to know the story of the video game of yeah. like Fallout. Well, and that's shit. good. You know, know, it kind of tells yeah. you like. You know, but if you do know it, then yeah. it makes. it Way better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So play the games first. Yeah. No, no, no. Watch the TV <laughs> show first. The only thing that irritates me with the Fallout series is how in the game that there's the, whichever one it is, is like, oh, this character's just called the Vault Dweller. And it's like, yeah, like most of the people in the game. Yeah, right. Like they're like, oh, it's the Vault Dweller. Which one? Yeah, right. How do they know who we're talking about here? There's so yeah. many of them. All right, nerd. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, actually. The Vault Dweller in Fallout 1's Vault Dweller. The second one was the uh, the Chosen One. In Vault 3, they were the uh, Lone the Lone Wanderer. In uh, New Vegas, it was the Courier. And in 5, it was the Soul Survivor. This nigga don't stop flipping me off the whole time. <laughs> I'm pushing my glasses up now. <laughs> it's like if you were playing San Andreas and instead of CJ, you're playing as a baller. And they're like, oh, it's the baller. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> the well, it is. <laughs> the it's the same thing as saying, like, the ghoul. The ghoul. Yeah. 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 Um, speaking of TV shows, The Boys season mm. four is coming back. Yeah, Can't wait. yeah man, I'm excited for that. They shit, I shit that about show. to hit the fan, man. Me and Billy watch Butcher them. calling everyone cunts. Watch them do the same thing they did with uh, Invincible. It'd be like four episodes. Yeah. Like, oh, we gotta take a break, guys. Yeah. They almost killed their show with that shit. Like they it helped, was yeah. so long between it, just oh, for I four episodes. I didn't, I didn't finish it. I, my Amazon Prime expired, and I didn't have a desire to bring no, it back. I, I'll get you a um, login. Drizzle, drizzle, mm. it's giving broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Callbacks. I heard that on the last episode's fucking drizzle, drizzle shit. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, X Men '97 still dropping out bangers right now. Man, I'm like, still I'm two episodes behind. You said it. you were caught up. I am caught up. It's lame. Wow, <laughs> get out. Uh, you want to find out if, right. if uh, fighting six niggas with six <laughs> separate <laughs> fights or one fight? <laughs> we got four right here. It's about to be two more. Man, it'll be four fights if it's y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> he like, nah, run. He gonna just back up into the change room and like run once. <laughs> Can't get jumped if there ain't no room for more than one nigga in here. <laughs> we gonna shuffle in there. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, go ahead. Oh yeah, he's no. already there. Hold on to your butts. So all my life, all my life, I've been wearing under. You guys wear undershirts, right? No, I don't think Alex. Not does. anymore. Not really. Yeah. I mean, unless I'm wearing it like a, you know. So but no, I, I wear undershirts, right? I've been wearing a white, white. Yeah. Well, I call them white beaters because you know I'm from the '90s. But yeah. They're called I don't tank wear tops. those anymore. Yeah. Stop uh, wearing those like a decade ago. What do you wear? Just normal t-shirts, undershirts, or you just like your your skin just touching your base shirt? He wears a silk lining. <laughs> probably. <laughs> he probably does. Honestly. Yeah. Nah. And, uh, this ain't about me. It's about you. So go ahead. Nah, I mean, I'm just curious what y'all wear. You curious but, uh, how I bathe? You curious I mean, what hey, lotion hey, I hey. use? Sometimes you just want to be like Mike. <laughs> Say something. Say something negative. Say something negative. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to process what you said. Exactly. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> so recently I, I needed more undershirts. Right. Underoos. <laughs> I brought me a pack of uh, Fruit black. And <laughs> <laughs> I brought My me a bad, pack bad. of black and gray 
uh, wife beaters. No, nah, them is the Man, you belong in prison. <laughs> them bro. the dusty nigga be <laughs> here. Wife <laughs> beaters, dark grays. Oh no, Damn, I bet your you black one of them type of nigga too. That's a ain't shit nigga beater. <laughs> I bet you wear jean shorts with them. Definitely wear boxers. <laughs> <laughs> Buy fat. one get one free. Got a deal too. <laughs> he got the fat form shorts with a <laughs> fat Albert on the back. <laughs> 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 he drinks still reserves <laughs> <laughs> in four locos. <laughs> oh, oh. So, so I put the black. I was walking in the mirror wearing my black one, and I was like, "Hey, who's this guy at the beer?" And I was like, "A oh, criminal." I, <laughs> I truly, boy, Denzel I, from training. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I can fight any nigga wearing that black. <laughs> <laughs> wearing black. He probably had beater. the slippers on too, didn't you? Nigga, I was taking out trash in my black white beater. <laughs> so, I was taking out trash. I'm about to cut the grass in it too. Let, I mean, yeah. Let these was this like know. equivalent to Black Forces? I don't know Pretty what it much. was, but I, I felt slimmer. I felt muscular. <laughs> like I feel like I had a little bit of hair showing through. Like I just felt powerful in my black. Beard. Do I got one on right now? I got a white one on. Right All right, now. like a fucking Mario. This is like the uh, the the set of you truly should not mess with this man. Black tank top, mm. jean shorts. Dirty white long socks. Yep. Oh, yeah. Crumpled up dirty black forces and he drives a Nissan Altima. That nigga sound like he got the pawn job. Leave her alone. It's his girl's <laughs> Nissan <laughs> Altima. <laughs> He's got a rebuilt <laughs> title. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Not the rebuilt title. He about to pawn something. That's yeah, in that back yeah. window to hold it up. That Altima, he got a he got a pack of black and miles in the uh, the cup holder too. Or he got a sixty day sticker that expired back in January. <laughs> I'm just saying, anybody listening, if you want to feel powerful. Get you a black uh, white a beater, <laughs> <laughs> my brother. Might be a little stronger. <laughs> nah. Just, you know. So if you see me in DreamCon walking around my black white beater, just Mind know what's up. Just know what's up. You know. Yeah, fight a nigga. Nah, yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. Before you jump me, make sure you check my white beater. Because if it's black, I'm on like some superpowers. He on demon time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Black attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's white, you be all right. (laughs) (laughs) Really don't mess with him when he got the do rag on. Mm -hmm. Takes it to a whole nother level. (laughs) Yeah. So I got a question for you guys. What's up? I heard this. All right. Why you snickle, snickle. Yeah, Because right. it's always so He about to ask a question about a dick. Yep. Mm-hmm. How, many, <laughs> how many back shots you taking? Why? If it was $100 for each back shot. <laughs> None. Some things. Hey, I really wish you would just start buy. that off with like, <laughs> so that. for $100 for each back shot, how many you take? You just went straight how in. So how taking? many back shots? <laughs> Alex doing the math. Oh, I'm I'm just texting, but uh, none. Would nah, you, you ain't blowing out my booty would, hole. Would, would your answer change if it was a thousand? Nope. Well, I just Maybe. said some things money can't buy. <laughs> a thousand back, a thousand dollars for each back shot. Wait, how? Oh, no, no, no. How much are you taking? Because you like to ask and then y'all right. read the room. Oh, he always yeah. want to. All right, that's the end of the he episode, said, how much folks. You taking? No, y'all did thinking he? on the surface level. Okay, I'm trying, you're thinking I'm trying it's to past the surface internal, level, brother. It's I'm inside trying you. To change yeah. lives here. God, I'm looking at this. <laughs> I'm looking at this as a business opportunity. All right, so you're a whore then. Mm-hmm. Think about it now. You and know. like I said, he he, he got an inner hole in him. <laughs> no, I don't. Definitely. Okay, would it would it would it change our perspective if it was a woman? With a strap on? Nope. No. A thousand dollars. Woman with a strap on. Nah. There's people doing that for free right now. Hey, hey it's, a, it's exit only. So, yeah, obviously. I don't live this far with the amount of money I have. Nah. So, so, so I can make it a little longer. Hmm? So I'm assuming you would then. I'm just saying. That ain't a yes or no. You <laughs> ain't saying how many you take. Thousand dollars? Yeah, how many? You answer first. He's like, nigga, I'm going to be a millionaire by the next one. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's like, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I can take it a little bit more. I didn't know eating my ass would turn into this. He's like, I ain't tap out yet. <laughs> Is that all you got? I got this dumb like, energy. That's all you got? He's going to start getting comfortable just <laughs> laying on his stomach <laughs> just watching wrestling. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Chips <laughs> got this W energy. I can go all night. <laughs> See, this is one of those ones where Alex would normally weasel out of it and be like, Well, it could be a micro penis strapped on there. You know, <laughs> no, I don't even have to. Right. See, you'd say penetration for the back shot. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back there ramming me. <laughs> yeah, but, just just off the off the job, I was like, Nah. So, how much is y'all rent? 
What's son? I'm not telling you. <laughs> so you telling me two back shops pay your rent? You ain't you ain't about to. I don't need my rent paid that bad, brother. Mm-hmm. It's paid on time, ahead of time. True. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't struggling. I mean, what if he got like premature ejaculation? You just got one back shot it's a, it's a one out of it all. So now you is it really worth the thousand dollars? Because this nigga nutted from the one stroke. You ain't gonna get pregnant, so <laughs> I don't know. Ask DJ Academics without the <laughs> dick riding he does for Drake. All right, man, y'all, y'all obviously you still ain't gave a number, man. Yeah. He said it's a business. I just want to see where y'all at. I, I, I told you, you want to read the room. See. <laughs> <laughs> he like, I ain't gonna answer if they don't. You gonna tap out? <laughs> <laughs> so if Cardi getting back yard again was behind you, Cardi B, yeah, it's Cardi getting back yard again. I love that. Shoot. Did you make that up? That's no. wild. Yeah, that's that's, good. that's wild. Thousand dollars a back shot. Yeah, for Cardi B. Yeah, who all knows? Everybody. <laughs> well, everyone that everybody listens knows. to this show about to know. Yeah. She's rapping about it. I fuck Kai with a strap on. I blues back all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Do He's like, some... but then <laughs> I was gonna say you better get the royalties yeah, on. Yeah, do I get money off the royalties <laughs> sure. off of that? Dang, because you in the in the track too. You like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit's not turning the radio like off. I'm looking at it as <laughs> a business opportunity. Y'all, I don't know if that was AI or if that was real. Y'all looking at <laughs> it on the surface level, nah. but bro, what you, business, how you looking at it? You can buy a whole Listen, new booty. You ain't looking at the surface. You, whole, you, yeah, you can buy a whole new booty depending on how All much right, you so take. BBL Kyle, BBL Kyle. That don't roll off the tongue. BBL Holly. <laughs> yeah. BBL. <laughs> Man, them lyrics, though, that. <laughs> I got the best. <laughs> I forgot what I mean. I'm just saying, for like a business opportunity, that's a lot of back shots for $1,000, my guy, to be able to start up a business. Like, you going to need I'm just saying, 50 if, to 100. That's a lot of back if shots, all Five guy. of us did it, though. You <laughs> can't to incorporate us, nigga. <laughs> Okay, it would depend on how down bad I am. Like if I if uh, I lost my job, nobody down savings, that bad. <laughs> our savings got say. tapped. Whatever we're done, whatever. And and like it's like all right, man, you can go to McDonald's or you can get your cheats clap. I'm gonna get my cheats clap for like a thousand bucks or whatever. But you know what they used to tell girls like, oh, look like your butt getting bigger. <laughs> hey, man, I'll, you know, fine. you know, <laughs> one, two. That's two thousand dollars right there. It was you two a nasty seconds. Nigga. It was two look, seconds. If I got a, if I got a. Provide for my family. All right, okay. What would I do if my kids was there? If you got your two, if you got your two thousand dollars, what are you gonna do when Pharaoh walks in the room, <laughs> like trying to ask for a Capri Sun, and he just walked in and Man, you I just got to I'm about to get you a WWE tour. He'd be straight. <laughs> He'd be like, no, you in the middle of it, Daddy. What's she doing with that nah. purple sword? <laughs> Listen here, son. You going to college? <laughs> she, yeah, she reaching all the way to my back. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, your intuition. She, she touching my ribs. <laughs> Oh yeah, and uh, the last man that wore a black beater was mm-hmm. George Floyd. Ooh, Ooh. Mm. it was a black. He never be forgotten. Never forgotten. James <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> anyway, <All right. laughs> I'm gonna be the one nigga to answer. It's 75, Kyle. 75 back shots. I'm gonna shots? give you 75. 75 back shots. All right. Somebody got to answer. I'll that's give you 75. 75,000 dollars. I mean, I ain't 75. give a number. That's that's, 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 that's that's. I can make 75,000. Yeah. How? Hey, we get you money. Uh, mean, you got the golden touch whenever you go to a fucking casino. Just touch <laughs> the he got the, he got the like, mightiest go. touch. Right. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. he ain't making. You can't make seventy five thousand. He like Samson. You, nigga, you would have made seventy five thousand. You can make seventy five thousand by now. Mm-hmm. You would have made it by now. If you can make seventy five. What you talking about? He made money sitting here, man. That's money making Midwest. Man, he holding out on the squad. <laughs> Well, I appreciate your answer, Tim. You're doing it for the cause, you know. <laughs> what what call? I'm a Laker, brother. Hey, man. Bacon and salami. Sure. For sure. That's right. I love the Lakers, too. For sure. <laughs> well, you know what? I think it's I'm about that time we're going to skate on out of here. It's been a good episode. I'm trying yeah. to get some coolie card after this. Yeah. Some coolie card. Some coolie card. Yep. Obviously, you ain't getting no coolie card. No, no, what are you talking to? I was just thinking of coolie like, on the card. thinking of a fish sandwich. Oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> So you licking surface level or not? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this has been the Y'all Points Podcast. We want to thank you for listening. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. There was a poll that went out, mm-hmm. and uh, we didn't we didn't update on that. I think one fight won. All yeah. the people that I sent it to, they all said one fight. Oh, uh, because you sent it to them, and then you sent no. them like five dollars. But no, I, they, sent you know them, I sent them the poll, listen, and they all answered. They didn't vote. They listen, just answered to me. Listen, I'm just gonna say it right now. Mm-hmm. It's multiple fights. It's one fight. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's multiple fights. It's one fight. It's I one forgot fight. the question. Y'all niggas didn't even revolt. <laughs> was it a... Oh, Them is it niggas a, that probably jumped, never been in a fight. Multiple? Yeah, I if mean, you get jumped and you whooped all of their asses, I mean, if multiple. more than one of them coming at you, then yeah, I would no consider city. that, like, <laughs> definitely all of them at one time there. But if they literally just 1v1 and you, like... If this nigga get knocked out, then the next man come up. That's one v ones, brother. Mm-hmm. Hey, so, I'm just fights. Yep. No, I'm a, putting out an ad out there. Kyle's looking for help on a project. He's looking <laughs> for a, an interior designer <laughs> <laughs> and decorator. Uh, no, I'm not. But uh, yeah, man. All Points Podcast. We're at DreamCon. Yeah. W Energy. Yeah. Use yeah. the code All Points. Yeah. Whales got ten foot dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you got the you twelve got like, inches. You in got the measurement you got like a of every in your room with all the animals. <laughs> I had a meme, I had a meme sent to me about it there, and I'm just like, the real question is, whose job is it to go out and measure these animal dicks, and what profession did you go into for? Because surely there is no career path of What's study. The study of animals. The yeah. study of animal dicks. The yeah. Zoology. Yeah. Zootometers. You yeah. can't be right after going to measure that though. Like I just measured a ten foot penis Every today. Yeah. Somebody got to do it. <laughs> yeah. You ain't going back. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's why you keep on saying yeah. <laughs> Try to get out of here. <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Earlier episodes, he used to get so mad when I was trying to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. He got Anyways, a, he this got a girl now. Podcast. Uh, this is Jonathan Great. Midwest. This is Kyle's Cool Corner. A2. Tim the Chat Man. And, and we, we are out of here. here. Yeah. Peace.